on November 1st, 2022. Nigerians woke up to the news of the death of David O and Gemma's son in Fianyi. He was just three years old on October 20, 2022. That's less than two weeks ago. The little boy was reported drowned in the pool and rushed to the nearby hospital, Lagoon Hospital, before pronounced dead. What really happened? What could have happened could be dissected into some scenarios. Firstly, how did the small boy gain access to the pool area from inside the house? Where was the minder? Well, according to reports, there are many other adults in the house, including the minder, chef, and others. How then did he walk out of the vicinity without them knowing? Secondly, how many exits exist out of inside the house to the pool area? Were those exits from inside the house to the pool area always left open, unattended to? Considering Davido's status and wealth, was the minder aware of his or her clear duties and the danger of a pool in a dwelling house and kids? What procedures has Davido got in place to make the pool area not freely accessible since there will be kids in the house? As a rule, there is absolutely no reason for a pool area to be left free for a free walking, especially in a residence where a child also resides. Could there have been a sabotage? While I'm not insinuating a sabotage, and in the absence of none, this should be a big lesson. If you are wealthy and able to afford a pool within your residence and would have kids living with you, you either put entry checks to the pool area in place or close the pool until the children are old and able to swim. It is always better to use public pools and secure hotels to avoid this kind of calamity. As for many wealthy Nigerians employing minders, this is an eye-opener too. Minders hold serious assignments. They must have clear understanding of their duties. They must also be vetted. And also, various checks must be in place. These job functions are not necessarily manual, as many Nigerians see them. Their employment and training requires serious attention. It is that simple. May the soul of the departed rest in peace. This is truly disheartening. May God also give David O. Chirma and the family of fortitude to bear the loss. Amen.